Hello, welcome to Game Ready Review. My name is Jean Marc, and today we're talking about the future. Yes, so today I'm going to be talking about the future of PlayStation VR. I've seen a few articles and a few pictures that claim that this is what the prototype of PSVR looks like, but that is clearly not what PS. VR looks like, and I scoured the web, found a lot of crazy looking controllers and stuff, and nothing was really like, yeah, this is VR, but the one thing that I did find was that they are making smaller screens with higher pixel rates on them, so that you can have a smaller screen and that it's sharper, so you see more of the image inside of your VR headset. Dang it, Lucy! <laughs> that darn cat. Anyway, so not only are these screens going to be smaller, but they're going to have more pixels on them, and they're going to be two inches smaller than the screens that they were able to compress before. So that means for VR that your headset will be lighter, and PlayStation is investing in these screens, wanting the PSVR 2 to be lighter, to be wireless, to be able to stream in stuff. I don't know, those are just rumors, but I'm excited for the PSVR 2 than I was about the PSVR 1. If those games are backwards compatible, if they're able to really have that fidelity there and you're able to see things more clearly and not to have so much blur when you're like walking around and looking at stuff, that'd be fantastic. This is what we want out of VR. We want things to be crisp, we want things to be nice, we want things to be clear. And we were so close to getting that. Within 10 years, VR is going to be indistinguishable from real life. Hey, that's what I want. I want to get lost in VR. I played VR and got lost in it already, but I tend to get dizzy. Some people I know don't, but this is what I want. I want VR to be the future. I wish PSVR was playing a little bit more because it's kind of disappointing that PlayStation did not show any VR off at E3, I mean in the main conference. I think they did on the showroom floor, but not a lot. They, they didn't even, I mean, if they were really invested in PlayStation VR, they would have showed a game off during those big four that they showed off. They would have showed off one PSVR game. I know that they tend to leave the PSVR for the PlayStation event that happens later on in the year just to make fans happy. So I guess we'll see. I mean, I played it twice at events, so we'll see if it worked. I'd like to know what you think about PlayStation VR. Is this still relevant? Is this still happening? I want it to be relevant. They have sold some, and it's the cheapest VR headset that you can get. It's the best way to get in the VR, and I'm just excited to see what it does. Thank you for watching Game Rating Review. My name is Jamar. Please like, subscribe, and like you see. And that was my opinion on PlayStation VR.